Hey, it's Valuable Tips here. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every now and then to bring valuable tips to your life. Only you can show support. Today we will be learning about value investing, primarily on how to use my discounted cash flow calculator. What makes my calculator special is that it is a slightly modified form of Benjamin Graham formula to be slightly more conservative on the growth rate of companies and the possibility to replicate getting the growth rate through a metric that is also commonly looked at in value investing. That is known as the return on asset. So for a start, let's try to get the intrinsic value of Stellantis, for example. So we go to Finbox and we search Stellantis. And we go to the models. Scroll down to historical financials. Select 10 years. Click view. This is the income statement. It's in euro. So we select this up to two or two three. Go over here, click copy paste it in and go to morning star. Select the Lantis once again. Go operating performance. Go for return of us return on a set. Copy paste it in here in the third row. And go to dividends. Payout ratio. Copy paste it in, in the last row. And it's a short book value of the line of this. Copy paste. Scan row. Uh, this price to book, sorry. So we go for book value style on this. It's the right amount. Copy paste it in. So as you can see, current price is at 20. 2 USD. This in Euro, so it's supposed to be even higher. So as you can see, Salanti is undervalued. It's just one example. And we can key in the value here. We see how much of margin of 60 do we actually have over here. Assuming you're using this for a tech company, you can change the formula here. Just by removing this part of the formula as well as the square part to evaluate your tech company. Next part I'm going to talk about is the Kelly's formula within my calculator to calculate how much portion of your portfolio should be should you put into a particular investment. This is my personal win rate. You can put yours to see how many stocks actually beat the index of their respective country. Yeah, or you can see how many stocks actually beat the uh, S&P 500, for example. And this is the resulting portion that you should be concerned about. This is the position sizing you 
you should be concerned about. So as you can see, with a 38.17% of margin of safety and a personal win rate of 0 0.81, this is the amount that of a portfolio that you should put into this particular investment. In my next few video, I will talk about other factors I look for in a company in value investing. They have to be doing share buyback or acquisition or giving out dividends and not stash up the cash and not use it. These are just one, one of the factors that I look for in a value company, under value company. The link to my calculator is in the description down below. Feel free to use it. Now we have come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts? And if you have any evergreen ideas for my next video, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.